Good afternoon. Today is the 19th of September. The weather is unseasonably warm and it's time to take a look at the top 10 best-selling cars of August 2024. Now, if you are a certain age, and of course I am of a certain age now, you'll remember that August was the most exciting month in the UK new car calendar for many, many years because that was new registration date all the way through from 1967 all the way through to about 1998, I think it was, or 1999. Um, so most cars in the in the UK, you know, proportionately were registered in August um, for a long, long time. But that is no longer the case. They are registered um, very often in March or September because that's when the new plates come out. Uh, so August is generally a bit of a quiet month for new car registrations. I'm going to call them sales or registrations. I just sort of tend to flip between the two um, in terms of what I say. So I do apologise if that annoys you. It's just the way that it goes, I'm afraid. Um, so the overview is actually that there's not that many sales to report. And also the picture overall, for some reason, compared with August 2023, is a little bit down. It's not massively down, it's about 1.3% down. Um, but um, yeah, and there are also some manufacturers who've done very well this month, and some that haven't done so well. So we'll go through those. Uh, first of all, we will start with the power source mix uh, compared with August 2023. Um, diesel, the forbidden fuel, we don't talk about the channel, thank you Mayor of London and all your friends around the country. Um, that uh, has had a decrease, you've got to remember overall we're down by 1.3% in the market, so anything above that is sort of positive I suppose. But this is down by 7.3% number of cars um, with this particular type of power source um, that were registered um, in August 2023 was about 5,600, it's now 5,200. The market share was 6.5, it's now 6.1, that's not really a surprise. Um, but uh, yeah, um, that's all there is to sort of say really. And then petrol, petrol's not going away in like quite the same amount as you might imagine, although there has been a significant change in market share over the last year. So the market share in August 2023 was at 56%. It's now about 51%. That's a 10% decrease. Number of cars sold was 48,000 in August 2023. Uh, it's now 43,000. Battery electric vehicles, uh, there's actually been an increase in these. I don't think this is going to be the case. I imagine some of these are things like pre-registered cars and things like pre-registered cars. Um, but yeah, it's a overall change of about 10%. 10.8% up. Uh, the market share was 20% in August 2023. Last month it was 23%. Uh, number of cars sold has, has gone up from about 17,200 to 19,100. Plug-in hybrids, um, that has gone down quite significantly. Um, these are all sorts of things now. There's a say at Leon plug-in hybrid um, that you can get um, you know, Golf plug-in hybrid, you, you can get um, MGHS plug-in hybrid, the, the new um, BYD Seal U is a plug-in hybrid, for example. Um, so, yeah, they're very, very popular. Uh, the market share both has dropped, though, from about 8% to about 7%. A number of cars sold, which has changed about 12% down. Um, in 2023, in August, it was about 6,600, and now it's about 5,800. Hybrid electric vehicles, this is a load of stuff now, anything from kind of um, little um, sort of Toyotas and things like that, all the way up to sort of much more sort of powerful things. Um, but you can buy a Nissan Qashqai, for example, in a hybrid and a plug-in hybrid. Um, but this is a big increase. Market share in August 2023 was just 10%, it's now 14%, and the um, number of cars sold has gone up by 36%. It's actually gone from 8,500 to 12,000 in that time, uh, which is amazing you know, when you compare month to month. Um, Overall, yeah, there has been a slight decrease, but it's not massive. Let's look at the uh, private fleet and business sector. So 
private sector, um, it's actually gone up very slightly. The market share has increased from about 37.4% to 38%. Um, number of cars sold is very, very steady, about 32,000. So it's a 0.2% change is, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not bad. Um, the fleet segment, which makes up 61% of the UK market, 61%, um, which is it was interesting to me. Um, percentage change is apparently minus 1.2. A number of cars sold almost the same um, compared with last year. So last year's about 52,000 in August, last month about 51,000. The business sector is very, very small in this country. Um, it's even smaller now. It's a 30% shrinkage for some reason in August. Uh, it's gone from 1.9% um, to 1.3%, and the number of cars sold versus August 2023 is about um, 1,600 versus 1,100. Now we go on to what is probably what most of you, most thing most of you want to hear about is the top 10 best sellers for last month. Not really a huge change from the year to date, I wouldn't think, I'm looking on my list here. Um, the surprise is the absence of the MDHS, which um, is currently eighth, but there's a new model out. And I, I did just test one of the older ones, um, a 2023 model recently, and um, uh, you'll, be, you'll be seeing that video at some point. Uh, but. Um, there is also, of course, a brand new one out, and I'm hoping to test that actually next week. So we'll be able to compare them quite closely, but that's dropped out, presumably because the new model hasn't come fully up to speed yet. But we'll look at the uh, first two, which are exactly the same as the year to date, uh, before Puma in first place, no surprise, Britain's best-selling car. I'm actually also hoping to test one of those next week, because um, I've never driven a Ford Puma of this generation. Um, I've driven an old Ford Puma, one from about 1997, I think it was. 98 when I tested, but this one I haven't. I just want to see what it's like. I don't have a particular opinion one way or other about it. I just want to see why so many people want to buy one. Um, because August is quite a depressed month for uh, new car registrations, it has been since about 1998. Um, the new letter didn't come out, sort of, not the new um registration date doesn't um plate didn't come out until September. So, a lot of people want that new plate, they're wanting to wait for it. So, um for Puma, 1,500, sex with Kia Sportage, again, a very big seller in this country at the moment, like the last generation Sportage was. Um, very good cars, both of them, to be honest. About 2,000, and then a, a big jump back down to the first three places, quite big jumps. Um, about 2,000 for Sportage, then the Tesla Model 3, uh, just over um, 1,500, 1,542. Um, that's not actually on the list so far this year. It's presumably a, a shipload of those have, have come in, and um, because of the way Tesla Motor UK works, they don't have franchise dealers. The dealers are all owned by Tesla Motor UK in this country, but they all register them together. So that's why the, f the figures can be very skewed. But both of them arise literally, and they uh, register them all at once. Um, then fourth of Volkswagen Polo, fifteen twenty four. Um, not in the top ten this, this year so far for some reason, but sort of the golf is, and that's uh, a bit further down. Fifth is the Tesla Model Y, 1469. Um, probably the same reason as the Model 3. The, 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 literally the boats come in and they're just registering them all together um, at these uh, Tesla Motor UK run dealers. Sixth is the Golf, 1437. Um, that is actually fourth currently in the charts. So I'm not surprised about that. Um, seventh is the Volkswagen T-Roc, 1297. It's a car based on the Golf platform, of course, and that's currently ninth. Um, position. Then the Volvo XC40s, Aves. Um, Volvo, I'm not that exclusive brand anymore. I mean, I'm in the Volvo Owners Club myself, so, um, you know, I do keep an eye on such things. Um, the XC40 is by far their best selling model in all its variants. I think plug-in hybrid, electric, and standard petrol, mild hybrid, I think the base one is now. Um, then the 9500 Tucson, which is a very similar car to the Kia Sportage. It's currently in seventh place. Um, so the Volvo UC40 was 1202, this is 1198, so it's very, very close at the bottom end. And then 10th is for Qashqai. Why would Qashqai is being outsold comprehensively this month? I, I, I don't really know. Um, it could be something to do with the fact there's a facelift one and maybe they haven't got those already for people yet, I don't know. But uh, it's 1170. So now, with my favourite part of the video, is looking at how each individual manufacturer is doing. 
So we were looking at uh, how many cars they sold last month, how many cars they sold in August 2023, the market share at the moment and percentage change. So Abarth, um, traditionally not a brand but does particularly well in these figures. Um, that has changed though um, over the last month. Abarth have had a 240% increase since August 2023. Their market share has gone from 0.04 to 1.12. Number of cars sold has gone from 30 to 102. I think it's probably almost entirely due to the electric version of the um, Fiat 500e that they're now selling. Um, if anybody knows different than that, then let me know in the comments. Alfa Romeo have had a slight increase as well. They've gone from 70 to 79 cars. Admittedly, not a massive increase, but the uh, Milano, or it's now called the Junior, presumably is responsible for some of those things because they don't have a lot of models on sale, particularly. I think we only have ones of the Stelvio and the uh, and the Julia. I think I think that's it. Um, and the Tonale, the Tonale, I don't think is a big is a big seller. I'm not massively fond of a Tonale. Mr. Richardson from Furious Driving and I both drove one of those in 2023, and we just found the car like overpriced and disappointing. Looks nice though. It's a good looking car, the Tonale. Nice interior. Anyway, um, can't dwell on that too much. Uh, yes, the percentage increase is about 13%, and the market has gone from uh, 0 0.08 to 0 0.09. Alpine, not much to say really. They, they sold nine cars in August 2023 and 11 last month. Audi, um, this is you know quite large numbers now for this month. I think the top selling brand which is Volkswagen only sold eight thousand cars or less than eight thousand cars, so it's very it's very different. Normally, you can sell at least 12, eleven twelve thousand cars each month. Um, September might be far more than that. So um, yeah, two point one percent increase. Market shares gone up from seven point one to seven point four. Number of cars sold has gone from six thousand one hundred to six thousand two hundred. Bentley, for some reason, have had quite a bad month. Um, they've gone down by 55%. Number of cars sold has gone 44 to 20, but that's not racing, really is it? Um, BMW, uh, they've gone um, a little bit backwards. Audi have massively outsold them. So, you know, if, if you're buying an Audi, um, just bear in mind that Audi outsold Ford um, last month. So just bear that in mind. So um, minus 4%, market share has gone from about 5.6% to 5.4%. Number of cars sold has gone from 4,800 to 4,600. Um, yeah, there we go. Build your dreams, BYD, who've got that new sealed U model, which I am actually hoping to test next week. Um, I don't really know much about it. I've, I've I've been had word with Mr. Quirk from the Planet Auto channel, who's had a look at one already, and um, yeah, I mean, he's not even driven one himself, so this is going to be fun, he'll be driving it on Tuesday, hopefully, um, because we don't know quite whether we'll have to get driving or not yet, that's still a little bit up in the air, but I'll be driving it on Thursday, so there we go, we'll have to see what happens. Um, but yeah, so we've got the Dolphin, the Seal and the Seal U, and um, unlike the first two of them, this is not an electric car, which some of you might be surprised to know, but uh, you know, a Chinese brand, the new car they're bringing out, it's not an electric one, it's a plug-in hybrid, so there you go. But yeah, presumably last month they're registering a lot of the new sort of press and demonstrator cars um, for, to be used at events like the one that we're going to next week. Um, there we go. So it's a 1227% increase. 33 cars to, to 438. Market share has gone up from 0 0.04 to 5, 0.52. Chevrolet will leave that because there's nothing for both years. Um, Citroën, uh, not good. Uh, minus 9%. Market share has dropped from 2% to 1.8. Number of cars sold has gone from 1,700 to 1,550. Cupra, better. Um, so they've got plug-in hybrids and electric cars. And if you count the sort of uh, you know, Cupra Leons and things, then we've got stand ones too. So a, a, a range of it caters to caters to a lot of taste, although not made to mine. 14% um, increase. Number of cars sold. It's gone from 12, sorry, 1284 to 1460, and the market share has increased from 1.5 to 1.7. Dacia, a very good month for them. Um, don't particularly know why, but uh, you know they are um, a brand that makes some very, very good cars. Um, the Jogger that I drove last June has been one of the most successful videos of the last year, actually. 
um, and that is a decent car. Um, up by 30%, um, was about 1.25% of the market, now 1.66. The number of cars sold has gone from 1,100 to 1,400. Deas, good news at Deas. Um, can't remember last time I saw one, but they are still selling cars over here. I keep thinking they're not going to stop that, but um, last month, maybe they should keep going. 90% um, increase, market share has gone from 0 0.07 to 0 0.09, and number of cars sold has gone from 64 to 76. Fiat overall, though, um, we're desperately awaiting things like the, uh, well, the new 600. Um, that looks interesting to me. Um, it's, I think it's very similar to the Jeep Avenger. Um, yeah, minus 31%. Market share has gone from 1.1 um, to 1.8. Number of cars sold has gone from about 1,000 to 660. Fisker, let's not talk about that. Um, Ford's not good not good at all i think the fiesta finished production in july 2023 and since then um well ford haven't had as many cars to sell because they didn't replace a fiesta with um anything uh, not yet anyway there might be some electric thing coming soon or something but uh it's the puma that makes it the bulk of the sales which is still the britain's best-selling car um 29 decrease um nine percent market share down to 6.3 um, number of cars sold gone from about 7,450 to 5,300. Genesis, you should do a lot better. They haven't, unfortunately. No one's listened to what I and other people have said that they make fantastic cars. Um, nobody cares about our opinion. So they continue to sell in tiny numbers. If you want a nice exclusive car, buy a Genesis. You've got concierge service, I think, still, and a nice five year warranty. And the cars feel very, very well made. They're nice to drive, but nobody buys them. Um, 33% decrease, market share has gone from 0 0.08 to 0 0.05, number of cars sold has gone from 70 to 46. Uh, Aura, they only sold 10 cars last month, they sold 19 in August 2023, they only got one model on sale, which I think is called the O3, it, it used to be called the Funky Cat, um, that probably didn't help their sales. Um, I've never been too keen on, on the O3 or Funky Cat or whatever it is, I'm just, it's not really much of a car. Um, Honda though, very well done to Honda. They've had a 96% increase. The market has jumped from one to two. And um, the number of cars sold has gone from 900 to 1,700, which is a remarkable achievement. They do make some good cars, I actually, Hyundai. I like the look of the Ionic 5. I've always looked at the look of that. I like the i30 and the i30N. I'm not sure about the design of um, the i20 so much. I like the i10 as well. Um, the for Tucson, I, I still don't like the look of it really. Um, it's just my opinion. I'm just, I know it's a great car and it's very good. I just the size of Jack, I don't like the look of it. That's just the way it goes. Ineos, um, they are still selling the Grenadier, of course. Um, it's gone from um, 0 0.07% to market share of 0 0.03. Number of, well, the sort of trucks, aren't they? The CVs, uh, gone from 60 to 23, which is a 63% decrease. Jaguar um, is doing well actually, considering like they're discontinuing all the models apart from the F pace at the moment. Um, maybe they shouldn't. A seventy-five percent increase. Uh, number of cars sold has, has gone from um, three four eight to six oh seven, and the market share has uh, gone up from um, not point four to um, not point seven. Jeep a three hundred and sixty-one percent increase. I'm not actually sure what that relates to i can't remember if jeep have released a new model or not it could be just the uh jeep avengers selling more models i, I don't know someone in the comment section below tell me if i'm missing something here but 361 percent increase um market share has gone from 0 0.09 to 0 0.42 number of cars sold has gone from 77 to 355 very well done um kgm now kgm used to be called sanyong um last uh, August they sold 35 cars as Sanyong um, obviously it's working well for them because last month they sold 88 cars which is a huge increase actually it was more than double so well done to KGM formerly Sanyong. Kia a, a small increase about 2% um, I do rate most of their cars very highly I've sourced a lot of Kias for clients in the past um, I think I'll be having a look at a new Picanto next week Unfortunately, I dropped the one liter turbo engine from the Picanto at the moment. So the one I'm driving has a one liter, 62 horsepower, normally aspirated engine. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, 
that's that could be fun. Um, yeah, the market has gone up from 5.4% to 5.6%, and the number of cars sold has gone from 4,700 to 4,800. Land Rover, like Jaguar, um, an increase of 83%. Market share has gone from 1.3 to um, 2.5, and the number of cars sold has gone from 1,100 to 2,100. Fantastic. Lexus, not so good. 23% um, down. Um, market share has gone from 0 0.08 to 0 0.06. No, no, sorry, it's gone from 0.8 to 0.6. Let's get this right. Um, a number of cars sold has gone from 700 to 500. Maserati, even worse. Uh, 26 cars sold in August 2023. Um, and then last month, 18. Mazda, not that good, but also not too catastrophic. A 4.3% decrease. Number of cars sold has gone from um, uh, sort of gone from 1100 to um, just under 100. Not very, not changed at all. It's it's still remains about 1.3% to the market. Mercedes Benz. Now they didn't have a good August in 2023. Really, um, you think about being or well, Audi sold about. 6,000 cars last month. Mercedes Benz in August 2023 sold 3,600. But it's improving. 21% 21, 21 increase. Um, market share has gone from 4.3 to 5.2. Uh, number of cars sold has gone from 3,600 to 4,400. MG, for some reason, are yeah not doing as well as I thought. This might be just because the VHS is not being sold. Um, it's one of their best sellers, actually, VHS. And it's one of the top 10 best selling cars of the of, of, in this country. Maybe it's just literally because we haven't got enough of them. But we're going to talk in a separate, um, very vague vlog about MG Motor UK and, um, well, what's happened there. Um, because there is a bit of a story behind that which we need to address. But for now, yes, market has, has gone from 39 to 3.5%. Number of cars sold has gone from 30 350 to 2953. Um, yeah, many, um, comprehensively outsold by MG, like three times outsold by MG. I would have believed that a few years ago that actually many, one of the most beloved brands in this country, is being outsold by the reborn MG. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, 30% down, 31% more, actually, more like. Um, Market share has gone from 1.6 to um, 1.1. Number of cars sold has gone from 1374 to 952. Nissan, um, very, very good. Very, very good indeed, despite the fact the cash guy is well down the order um, this month. So, 23.5% increase. Um, the um, number of cars sold has gone from 2400 to 2900. Um, and then, um, We've got um, percentage increase in percentage market shares gone from 2.8 to 3.5. Or Model, which is a, a brand from Geely, they sold 46 cars last month. For what, I'm not sure they sold them. I think they probably just registered them people to, to drive and stuff, and dealers and press and whoever. Um, JQ is coming soon as well. Um, I suppose at some point I might get my hands on one of these Geely brand cars. I don't really know what to think about them at all. I've no experience with them. Um, Peugeot, I do have experience with Peugeot. So 2.9% increase. Uh, market share has gone from 3.6 to 3.8. Number of cars sold has gone from 3,100 to 3,200. Polestar, um, yeah, let's not go into what's happened at Polestar. It's a bit complicated. Anyway, 55% or approximately 54% decrease. Um, market share has gone from about 1 to about 0.5. Number of cars sold is actually in more than half from 818 to 374. Porsche, not a good month for them either, actually. 42% um, decrease. Um, not sure why. Uh, market share has gone from 1.2 to 0 0.7. Number of cars sold, uh, about 1064 to 618. Renault, superb. Superb. I must stop putting on my silly French accent if I have a good degree in French. I should know better. 39% um, increase. Um, this might be the face lifted Clio, actually, because I think the Clio is starting to mop up a lot of Fiesta sales, along with possibly things like the Suzuki Swift and the MG3 yeah, Hybrid Plus. But anyway, yeah, 39% increase. 2.4% um, market share now, 34 Number of cars sold has gone from um, 
2,000 to 2,900. Then Sayat, 37% increase. Market share has gone from 1.9 to 2.7. Um, number of cars sold has gone from 1,600 to 2,300. They're thinking of killing off the Sayat brand, actually, or sort of reducing its significance during Volkswagen recently, but I'm not sure they should. I drove a Sayat Arona last week, amongst other cars, and the Sayat Arona, to be honest, is a really good car. I'm actually really surprised. The Ibiza is also good. Um, but if you want a little bit more room than an Ibiza, you can buy an Arona. And they are really good cars of their type. It's so better than a Duke. I'm not so fond of the San Duke viewers. Um, some of you might already know that. But anyway, uh, Skoda, they're several mates. Um, they've had a good month as well, up by 4%. The market share has gone from 4.4% um, to 4.6%. number of cars sold has gone from 3,700 to 3,900. Smart, um, also good. Hashtag one, hashtag three, they've gone on sale. I, I don't really have a lot of interest in those particularly, but um, some people like them, don't they? 93% um, increase, market share has gone from um, 0.05 to 0.1. Number of cars sold has doubled from 42 to 81. Subaru, um, actually outsold by KGM this month, which is surprising to me. Normally, they get the other way around. Um, they've had an increase value of 9%. Um, number of cars sold has gone from 75 to 82. Uh, market share has gone up slightly from z uh, 0 0.09 to, to 0 0.1. Zuki, um, I'm looking forward to having a go in the Zuki Swift, the new one, um, which is advertised as a hybrid, but it's really a mild hybrid. But yeah, I'm interested to see what that's like um, because the last generation of them, I have driven one of those, it was a sport and it was brilliant. Um, not so keen on some of the interior materials, but the rest of the car is brilliant, to be honest, in most Suzuki's. Um, yeah, so 17% so decrease, market share has gone from 2.1% to 1.8%, number of cars sold has gone from 1,800 to 1,500. Tesla, a good month for them, but not good enough, I suppose, in a way. Um, they've got two cars with top 10, but they're still 25% down on August 2023. Number of cars sold has gone from 4,000 to 3,000, and then market share has gone from 4.7% to 3.6. Toyota, um, a strong brand in this country. Um, so, yeah, 1.7% uh, um, increase, a mo modest one. Uh, market share has gone from 4.8 to 4.9. Number of cars sold has gone from 4,100 to 4,200. Vauxhall, who were outsold by Mercedes Benz this month. You know, why do people call? you know, Audi, Mercedes, BMW, premium brand, when Vauxhalls are rarer than Mercedes. Work that one out. 41% um, decrease, unfortunately, for them. Market share's gone from um, 6.5 to 3.9, and the number of cars sold has gone from 5,600 to 3,200. Volkswagen, uh, again, just under 8,000 cars sold, but not quite as good as last year. This is the top brand of this country at the moment. 4% um, decrease. Uh, market share has gone from 9.7 to 9.4. Number of cars sold has gone from 8,300 to just under 8,000. Volvo with the XC40 were top 10 this month. They've um, uh, gone from 1.9% uh, of the market to 3.4%. 4% of the market, it's a 72% increase. Number of cars sold has gone from 1650 to 2800. And then in total, uh, for the last month, we have um, 8600 to 8500, so about a 1.3% decrease. So thank you ever so much indeed once again for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave a comment below. And we shall see you again next month for some, well, not particularly interesting music.